Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Some of you may know me for the Destiny 2 series that I have started recently, because of my enjoyment for the game, and since I moved away from streaming since I couldn't keep up with it, I am intrigued by a new game that I've been wanting to play for some time now. As you can see by the name of Dead Cells. It is a roguelike action. I will say action just at the top of my mind. Game where I believe you're supposed to reach from point A to point B within a single life. So I mean I've seen quite a few videos on it. I have seen all kinds of great reviews and thoughts about it so I too even just looking at it is so visually pleasing to me and the action looks really fun and it's gonna be a great challenge for me because I love it I can hop into something and it challenges my skill nothing's too fun when your skill can't be challenged so we're gonna start off playing a new game because I've never played this. It's going to be my first uh, first attempt at Dead Cells, so let's hop on in. Uh, normal mode, yeah. Prisoner's quarters. Lucky prisoners had a window in their cells. Oh, oh hello there. Oh my. Well, that's quite something. So I guess that's my starting plate and guess whatever this stuff is, that's what I am. Kind of weird. Chopping block. Looks like I had a bad time with it. <laughs> oh, so that's, that's, uh, that's how I died. <laughs> Looks like I had a bad time with it. All right. Oh, bust the freaking door down this are you the headless fellow that's been getting around what's the matter cat got your tongue ah yes that's right no tongue anyway it must be strange to be back from the dead I mean surely you must have noticed can no longer die. I don't really understand it. But you're not the first to find yourself in this situation, if that's what you want to know. Huh. I don't see anyone else but you, and this game is really loud. I still need to adjust the audio. This game. <laughs> it's got some good audio. I'll tell you that. Ooh, okay. So, old wooden shield. Absorbs 75% of damage. Deals 15 to 30 damage. Uh, let's take the bow. Oh, we can take the shield? No, we can only take one? Okay. I think the bow is probably a good choice. Looks like it's got a durability bar on it. Ooh, okay. B to die. Alright. Ooh. What the heck is that? Alright, just get the hang of it. Oh, you can kill those guys pretty quickly if you get to jump on them. That's pretty nice. I break any containers, I wonder. No. Okay, press down, press A. Cool. Usual platforming. Uh, movement. Mm, that must be the checkpoint, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, how do you do that? Tickle? What's this supposed to do? Hmm. 
I guess it's supposed to do something, but I'm not sh too sure on what. That's, uh, that's rather curious. I guess it's probably for a later, later experience. Okay. Ooh, scroll of power. Upgrades any one of your stats. Any one of your three stats. Ooh. So red items, purple items, green items. Um. Ooh. Gives me 50% more damage of red and gives me 65 health points. So I probably will go with that. And I want to dodge out of the way of that. Because those guys aren't nice. Aren't. I don't like that guy either. Ah, he's not too bad as long as you can dodge the uh, bomb. I could get used to this. Over time, of course. I'm sure it's going to get a lot more complicated. Ooh, okay, that hit hard. They can toss bombs down, which is not, not in my favor. Okay, let's try and take them up, up here. Ow. I learned how to dodge those arrows well. Are those like just radiated zombies or something? I don't know what, what I should call those. Whoa! I'm glad I dodged that. No, I didn't dodge that one. At least there's food that you can eat. I gotta catch that guy off by surprise. There we go. Ooh. The attacks are really nice, fluid, and responsive. What's this? Oh, so this does... This allows me to teleport from area to area. Oh, is that ice bombs? I think that's what that is. I know that this game can also be somewhat of like a uh, time trial in some areas. If you're fast enough, you can get some pretty good stuff. A blood sword blueprint. That's nice. Ah! Oh. So you can dodge past the guys with shields to get behind them. That's nice. At least you got tactics like that. I am gonna have to do better though. Getting hit by these guys is painful. <laughs> I like this though. I like how fluid this game is. Combat's fast. Hectic. What just happened? I wonder what those arrows mean. So they are breakable, but I don't know if they. <sighs> Should I? Yeah, why not? It's my first time. Woohoo! Freezes enemies in front of you. No damage if the target is already frozen. Ooh. Hmm. Beginner's bow. What happened? Hmm. Animal comes back after enemies are killed. Let's give this a shot first and see what it's like. Yeah, another scroll of power. This is a green and purple item from the looks of the icon down there. So, I'm gonna go with the one that gives me more HP. Oh, wow. It's like a balance. The green icon grew on the ice. So, does that mean anything? Okay, I need to try this on an enemy real quick. Order. An order stamped with the king's seal. 
castaning. This is a direct order that must remain between you and me. Stop checking the prison entrances until further notice. Um, all these papers are signed by Castane. High ranking prison officer, no doubt about it. Oh! Did he set aside a few pennies for a rainy day? <laughs> I like these witty comments. This is gonna be funny. I like this. Some books on a shelf. Prison management for dummies. <laughs> Bridge building for antiquity to the present day. From antiquity to the present day. Managing soldiers. How to earn their respect without using torture. <laughs> Managing prison entrances in 10 easy lessons. Lesson 8 will shock you. Like, what? <laughs> uh, this is gonna be funny. I like this game already. It's entertaining and full of action. Oh, who are you? Hmm, can't even find something worth cooking. You may as well take it. Wish you luck. You will need it. What? What? Inflicts a critical hit if the enemy is facing you. <laughs> it's a little heavier, you can tell. But why not? Let's get. <laughs> oh, that is gonna be hilarious. It deals critical hits when the enemy is facing me. And these, this stuff is way too expensive for me right now. So. Ooh. Ooh, okay, yeah, that, that, that fr freeze is nice. Ooh, what's that? Ah, uh, that's more money. I'll take that. I'll take all the money. Wait, rub? What's that do? Hmm. Curious. I like this game already. I'm, I'm very entertained. Usually does take very little to entertain me anyways, but... <laughs> I really like this so far. Again, I've been looking to play this for a while. Ooh. What's in here? Ha! <gasps> Multiple Nox bow. Oh, do I have to? I'll give it a shot. Arrows come back. Can't I? Their way to do something? Prisoner's collar. Uh, I guess I'll have to leave you there for now until I give this bow a shot to see if it's worth it. Nope. I won't have a chance. Oh, is it worth having the bow? I'm sure it is, because it's rain. Let's just... Ah, oh, screw it. Let's just go with it. Passage of the promenade of the condemned. A will. Oh, wow, you can't even read that. Kill 30 enemies without taking any damage. This door was... Ah, see? Yep. These are the timed doors that I've been talking about. So you have to complete the last chamber in two minutes so that it, so that you can access that. And then I have to kill 30 enemies without taking damage. Good lord. Well, look who it is. I'm the collector, and I'm about the closest thing you'll find to decent company around here. Bring me the cells you gather from the others. In exchange, I'll procure a few useful little items for you. Should you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me and I will introduce you to some more experimental items. Well... 
random starter bow, random starter shield, random melee weapon. Health flask. Unlocks a health potion that can be used. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a cool way of putting in currency. You can pay for it over time. All right, now we've got a health flask. That's gonna that's gonna help us. And I do hear that some of your items drop, and I'm gonna guess that cells are the same way. So, hmm. Uh, preserving gold when I die. That sounds helpful. I will. That. Holy crap! Look at all those flasks. Gold reserves. All right, recycling. Mmm. That'll definitely be handy later on. Definitely want more gold because things cost a crap ton in here. Well, you. Hold to heal. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, it's only one use. Oh, mutation. Really happy I found this great stinging pile of corpses. <laughs> Can't even imagine all the stuff you can find in here. By the way, it's an odd thing to say, but you kind of look like these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about the smell. In any case, it beats selling a bunch of old stuff. Yeah, stuff. Uh, I'm going back to digging through the fills for some more goodies. I'll see you again, I guess. Uh, oh, wow. 184 extra DPS after killing an enemy. Killing instinct reduces the cooldown on your skills by 0.51 seconds for each enemy killed in melee combat. Hunter's instinct decreases skill cooldowns by 0.3 seconds for each enemy killed without using melee attacks. Reduces cooldown on your skill. That's a lot to go to. Ooh, recover when a health when an enemy dies. This is your infection level when you kill a boss. Action. My ammo, dead inside, 50% more HP, food no longer. Oh, your infection counter is increased by six. Hmm. Saves you one time if you die prematurely, cannot be dropped once picked up. I think the combo is my uh, best friend at this moment. Sounds quite handy. All oh, corpses. Funny. They look a little like me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's because uh, that is you. That is me. Oh, wow. That is... Hmm. Yeah, that is interesting. Maybe some more of that stuff. This... Ah, oh, bust the door down. Who needs it? Alright. Charming countryside atmosphere of the forest has given way to a less wholesome ambience. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. Leave the love the serenity. All right, for the first time. Heck yeah! All right, water. Nice. Slow you down a bit. I'm not sure. Uh, those are spikes. It's over here. Ooh! Assassin dagger. Shrewd sleuth. Nice. Find your first secret zone. Ooh, okay, that can put you in a daze. I'm sure the spikes are like one hit KO or something. Did that go by my head? Yeah, it goes by my head. Ooh. Dodgy dodgy. Ooh, hello. <laughs> God. 
golly. It's a frying pan. And it's hilarious. You can hear it. It goes ding, ding, ding. Ah, you punk. Ding, ding. Oh, that's an amazing weapon. Much better than a rusty sword, I'll say that. Uh, you gotta love it. Oh, okay, okay. See how that is. Ooh. That's not bad. At least the bow is serving some good purpose. Ow. An oiled sword. The blueprint. Ding ding! Eat my frying pan. Alright, let's take a look at what's up here. Oh, fancy. Let's take you out. Oh, wait a minute. What's down here? Nothing. I'm sure with time, I'll start to figure out how to how to do all these. Uh... Okay, that's. I'm sure with time, I'll figure out how to do all these uh, time doors and figure out where they are. Should check up and around, get familiar with my surroundings at least. That's great though. Smooth. Well, actually, I love the music too. The music's really nice. Let's play these things again. Whatever the heck those are. Oh, what's this? Oh, interesting. Too bad. I guess the frying pan is pretty darn powerful. Ooh. Fancy. This permanent rune causes climbing vines to grow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to keep uh, an eye out. <gasps> oh! Okay. I see now. Artifacts. Very handy. Take it. Of course, it might be part of the progression. I might just give it to you up the bat. If I felt like it did. But then again, who knows? Maybe the other ones aren't so easy. Cudgel. Or cudgel. Stuns blocked enemies. That's another shield. Ooh, a sinew slicer. This. Is it a consumable? Oh no, it has a cooldown. Okay, so I can infinitely use it. Cool. Wait a minute. These icons. Ah, I got a feeling. No. What is this room in the ground? I feel like. Hmm. I feel like that's trying to tell me something. Maybe that's a secret. Checking around, seeing if I can find something new. Animal head? Someone left a cow's head here. Whoever it was, he was a bit of an artist. Carefully traced the king's coat of arms on the animal's forehead. Hmm. Interesting. A faithful likeness of the king. The glory of our illustration. 
The illustrious ruler. Someone added something underneath. We'll skin you alive. A brave and courageous message. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, I love those comments. Witty comments. Oh, where'd the music go? Uh, should I? Oh, okay. I'm dodge. It works. All right. I'll go in. Come here. Eat my frying pan. Frying pan's freaking amazing. Oh, so that's what that does. Get over here. Destroy and die. I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of this. Whoa. Woo, that was a moment. I certainly think these breakables don't have anything in them. But I guess I just like smash them. Alright, there's another teleport there. Does this say the same thing? Oh, wait a minute. Statue of the King of the Island. How could he see anything with a helmet on? <laughs> yeah? It's a fair point. You can't even see it. I mean, it looks like there's slits in it, but... I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to climb up to the back. Okay. Gonna have to go through the building. Requires gardener's key. Okay. Ooh, that looks special. Magnum's keeping the door locked. Okay. So I'm gonna need a key for that if I want that blueprint. Ooh. The jump is definitely very stiff, but it gives weight. Makes you feel like that you're actually weigh something. Unlike some of these games where you get like the super ability to jump, and you know, albeit double jump doesn't. Ooh, you punks. Get, 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 get out of here. Damn. They throw all the punches at you at some point. <laughs> oh, wait. I feel like that this was a secret. All right, well, I'm gonna try this. Okie dokie, Dan. I'll take that. You get out of my life, bat. I don't like you. Get out of here. Alright. What is that doing? I can see a small link. Huh. Watching me or something? I'm not sure. Yeah. So always slam the ground, you recover faster. Gotcha. Oop. I don't think so. Get stunned. Ooh. Oh, this frying pan is amazing. Get out of here. I'm tired of you. Ooh, what is that? Pick it up. Ooh, it's a very, it's a rare. 
I like me some rare stuff. <sighs> yeah, that was my bad. Something what you know, this is starting to get on my nerves. Hey, that's my luck. Get stuck with the island, idiot. You need, I can't buy any of your stuff, it's too expensive. I'm gonna go back up because your stuff is too pricey. Oh, yeah. Break all the doors. Who needs doors? Ow, ow, ow. this thing real quick. Those guys hit hard. Well, hopefully I can find a place to uh, save my stuff because this is not looking too good. something down there. It can't seem to access it. Get out of here. Don't need you. I'd like to take my scroll, please. Ooh. So it can even upgrade... Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go purple this time, though. Oh my goodness. Toss trap. It gets their attention, but not for very long. Ooh, break it, break it fast. Kill him. Get that before I die. Don't know if Ooh. I'm eight health points left. This is not good. Yeah, I figured something would happen. Oh, that's too bad. I've lost all those orbs and all those blueprints. Oh wait. Back already? Seems like you've been having a rough time of it. Have you noticed how things seem to change each time we pass through? One could get to thinking that the island is alive. Quite ridiculous, wouldn't you say? Possibly. Well. That is very interesting. I think I'll definitely have to call it here because it's late. And I feel pretty satisfied with all that. I hope you enjoyed. 
this was first episode of Dead Cells. Getting the hang of it. Easy to get a uh, hang of the controls, get a feel for the action, find some items and try and slash and shoot and toss your way through the game. We'll have to see how much further we can get. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. See you next episode.